What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage three of the Giro d'Italia here on PCM 2020 and today we head to Mount Etna already on the third day of the race. Unbelievable stuff. You can see Yates, Micah and Lopez are the favourites and a few of these favourites have dropped out really in real life with Vlasov and Lopez abandoning, of course, Yates and especially Thomas losing a heap of time on stage three in real life. Let's see how it plays out here. Okay, okay, we get underway and look at the race days we have today. So many pluses. I can't remember having race days this good on PCM. I do want to try and go in the breakaway with Honor 8, which we have put up the road right here. Maybe Kaiser as well. And you can see Zabu trying to attack perhaps. I'm going to follow with Ilyo Kaiser as well. So we can try and get a couple riders in today's breakaway. Okay, so the breakaway is still in the process of forming right here. And you can see Kaiser is in this group behind right here. You can see the riders in that second group. And we have six riders at the front of the race. Honore can sit up because of course Kaiser is chasing from behind. We have Restrepo, Volta, Viella, Bouchard and Hansen up the road. So Kaiser didn't make it into that breakaway and that group have been caught. We do have Navarro now trying to bridge to that group at the front. Oh boy, big moment for the race right here because Trek Segafredo are behind with Vincenzo Nibali behind the Peloton. We also have, I believe, Wilco Kelderman in this group. Michael Matthews is here as well, but Nibali and Keldman, also Jai Hindley, a few big riders in the GC are behind right now. And I wonder if we could now see an increase in tempo. It doesn't seem so. Uh, so it seems Nibali and Kelderman should get back in with relative ease. And yes, there you go. Nibali and Wilco Kelderman back in the peloton. Okay, and suddenly the breakaway have opened up a massive lead on the peloton. You can see seven and a half minutes. Finally, they do take it up on the front of that group, but Honoré and these guys have a big, big lead right here. So we are now approaching this intermediate sprint. I think we may as well try and go for this with Honoré right here. 95, 1K to go. Let's try and sprint, but Restrepo very, very quick compared to us. And I think we're just about going to get third position right there. Um, and it was Hansen struggling to hold the wheel. And so on this occasion, I'm not actually going to sprint for these points with Honoré. We're just going to try and sit in the wheels right here. As you see, conserve a little energy. I think we do that quite nicely right there because we still have five and a half minutes with Mount Etna coming up right now. So looking at this breakaway, they have a genuine chance at taking victory today. We have Bouchard, Volta, Hansen, Viella. Uh, and all these guys really are stronger climbers on paper than Honoré, but this plus five day really could play into our favour. So I'm going to try and stay here, maybe take the stage with the Dane. And if we're unable to do that, as we have attacks right now, let's follow uh, Restrepo right here. Can he follow the wheels? That is the big, big question. But if he does get dropped from this group, we can always drop him back to the peloton behind. We need to make sure we're staying to the front as well. So it's a very, very aggressive opening to Mount Etna in the breakaway as more attacks right now. It's Restrepo attacking off the front as Bouchard and Hansen cannot live with the tempo right here. Maybe time to use our gel, but very, very aggressive start, it must be said. Let's tempo at maybe 65 uh, or relay maybe at 55. Try and just stay with these guys now. Still five minutes back to that group. And right now in the peloton, we have Trek Segafredo on the front. Working for the shark, of course. Maybe we'll see a shark attack today with these four riders still at the front of the race. So Davide Ballerini has done a great job. We're now coming under 100 riders in this group. And Mitchelton Scott also pacing right now. I'm trying to manage both situations with Hansen and Bouchard coming back on somewhat. So here we go. Yates lurking towards the front of this group. Seri is almost done right here. We have Knox. Masnada and Almeida and there you go. Simon Yates is on the attack here at this Giro d'Italia. Trek Segafredo trying to chase him down. Let's just try and stay in this group for the moment. On race still at the front of the race. So Masnada is done and we have Yates and Nibali off the front of this group. I'm going to pace with Knox. Almeida not feeling too good either um, as he's getting blocked off by his teammate. That is not 
what you want to see in the slightest right there. Not in the slightest, let's up this to 94 just to try and close that gap somewhat. But Almeida is going to be pretty cooked right here. Um, in fact, he may as well ride now for James Knox and Fausto Masnada will pace at 75. And look at Yates and Nibali go up the road right here. Honoré still in this group and we have a rider up the road. It's uh, Bouchard who has attacked these guys. 3k to go. Honoré is going to try and pace at 85 I think with Restrepo now struggling. Almeida almost done. So Almeida looks pretty tired and Nibali and Yates are almost caught right here up the road. Honoré is at the front of the race. Can we try a little attack with the Dane right here? And we have a gap on the rest of the breakaway looking very, very good, it must be said. And we have caught Yates and Nibali. Uh, so it does seem Almeida trying to cling on if he can. But up the roads, Honoré looking pretty good to take the stage win right here. Up the road, you can see we have 40 seconds on Atia Volta behind and Mikel Honoré is going to win stage three of the Giro d'Italia on Mount Etna. What a ride that was. He crosses the line, wins the stage. We need to take a look behind though and you can see Almeida just about losing touch somewhat but a great day for Knox and Masnada staying with Yates Kreuzvik. We have Van Hooker as well. Great ride for him. Nibali is here as well as Raffle Micah and behind we have Geraint Thomas. The Maglia Rosa has been dropped right here. Almeida dropped two. Then we have Kelderman and Fulsang. My oh my, what a day for our guys with some very, very big riders getting dropped. We have McNulty as well behind Miguel Angel Lopez. Nowhere at this Giro, it would seem. And you can see the rest of the finishers right here. Our first win of this Giro d'Italia and it goes to the Dane, Mikel Honoré. And oh boy, I did not expect to see this, but Honoré actually is able to go into the Maglia Rosa two seconds ahead of Stephen Kreuzvik. What a turn up right here. Oh boy, what a stage that was. Mikel Honoré, the strongest man in that breakaway, not on paper, but he was on a plus five day. Couldn't turn down going in the break with him and he delivered on Mount Etna of all places. Knox and Masnada performing very well with Almeida losing about 50 seconds on the other GC favourites. But Thomas, the big loser today. Also Jakob Fulsang, uh, Kelderman as well, McNulty, you could say Lopez. And also, of course, Vlasov. Terrible day for the Russian. And yeah, how we have gone into the Maglia Rosa, I do not know. But Honoré, I think he lost time on stage two. If we take a look back right here, he was caught behind losing 33 seconds and he gains that back today. Stage four then of the Giro. And to be honest, I think this is for the sprinters. I can't really see the likes of Gaviria and Damar getting dropped on this climb because it is some way from the finish. We'll see though. Hopefully, at least, Honoré able to stay in the Maglia Rosa. But if you enjoyed today, drop a like on the video. As always, drop a sub to my channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.